Yo, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> Damn. Sound like I had something in my throat. Uh, Ebo me just left. Sorry. Um, damn. Uh, whew. how about that Colt, huh? Wasn't that a great shooter? Got it right here in my Glock range bag. Getting ready to clean it. And, uh, I'm just getting set up, and as we're getting set up, uh, we can talk about it. It's pretty dirty. See this? See these things? This is what's great when your parents get old. These are, uh, for in case you wet the bed. And, uh, I got these from, uh, my parents. Because they live in a retirement community now. And there's a whole trash bag full of these things. I said, hey, I'll use them to clean my guns. They're wee-wee pads. Work great. Anyway. Colt Combat Commander 80 Series did wonderful. Told you. This gun just loves to shoot. It loves to shoot. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Um, got some packages here. And, uh,. A lot of guys ask me, do you use the ultrasonic cleaner when you're cleaning your guns? Yeah, if I have if I have a, 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 a couple guns that I'm cleaning. If I'm just cleaning one, not really. It's really not worth uh, wasting, uh, you know, wasting the, uh, what's the name? The solvent. I don't like wasting the solvent. I usually use that thing mostly for cleaning my buddy's guns or guys that, you know, like, bring their guns over and I clean them for them. They got a whole bunch of guns because it saves me a lot of time. You still got to, um, you still have to scrub the barrel out with the, uh, with the cleaning patch with that. You can't just ultrasonic dry it off and put the gun together. You still got to go through it, but it does save a lot of time. It takes all the top dirt out, like 90%. Pretty dirty. Yeah, this thing, so we, we got now 300 rounds through it. I marked it on the board. Under failures, there's still a zero, and that's what I want to see. Okay, so, uh, obviously we're not going to do a video on cleaning, because i got plenty of them. I just wanted to show you guys i got some packages. I want to sh Jesus, God, I hit that. Sorry about that, I hit the button. And let's uh, see who this is from. got this uh, yesterday. Ooh, 1911 bricks. Pretty. Nice. Man, they're pretty grips. From Philip. Or oh, I'll say Phil. That's my dad's name and that's my brother's name. There's a lot of Phil's in my family. Here's his note. I know these grips look like ugly furniture, but give them a try on your Ruger 2245. They feel real nice. Also, they work with factory screws. All right. Thank you, Phil. Thanks for the grips. But I love 1911 grips, bro. I'll, I'll throw them in my collection. You know me. You never know when you're going to get a 1911 that goes with the, the grip perfectly. You know what I mean? I'm so we'll see. Thank you. Very nice. Got another little box. All right. This is from uh, John. John. Jonathan, saw this shirt, thought of you, keep up the videos, I hope the uh, headaches stop, yeah, the headaches are stopping, alright, t-shirt, t-shirt, love t-shirts, 2XL, very good, ah, oh, very good, <laughs> see what it says? Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Now, if you guys know, I think that's a quote from the Godfather. I think, remember when they killed that guy? Remember that guy was beating Sonny's sister? And they took him out into the weeds and they killed him? And the fat guy said, leave the gun, take the cannoli. That's pretty funny, man. I'm almost positive that's a line from the Godfather. That is, that is awesome.
Thank you, man. Thank you, Jonathan. I will wear it, and it's nice and big. Man, what company is this? They really make their shirts big. Delta Pro Weight. Okay, I'll have to remember Delta Pro Weight. If I ever get my shirts made, maybe I'll go with them. Because I like when sizes run big, you know. So anyway, going to get my Colt all cleaned up. And I uh, just glad you guys liked the range video. It looks like there's a lot of positive comments. Uh, I've got a really good cooking video coming up Sunday. You know, YouTube's funny. You'll think you have a real good video, and then everyone will hate it. And then there's ones you, you'll put up, you're like, they're going to hate this. And then they love it. It's just, it's, it's really hard to, uh, to predict uh, what people are going to like. That's, that's the, the art to YouTube. It's hard for me to master is what these people want. You know what I mean? So, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. The channel's doing good. As you can see, i got a shitload of these shoot and see targets. Look at them all. I love these. i got a guy down the street who sells... The bulk pack for $19.99. That is, that is a great price for the shooting seat targets. You get 30 targets for $19.99. And that is uh, Joe Galliano, um, Suburban Armory in Cowlingdale. So if you guys live around here, there's a couple of you, go there to get your targets. They're cheap. So I'm going to use my ballast all, squirt my gun down, let it eat all the gunpowder up, and uh, just wanted to show you those packages. And say thanks for watching the videos. The uh, a lot of people are subbing. That makes me happy. And uh, the cult makes me happy. It, it's just flawless once again. Uh, I, I don't know, man. We got UMC through it, and now we got Remy. Um, now we got uh, Winchester White Box through it. It's I've I've put hollow points through it. The cult's eating everything. No failures. Zero failures. Accurate as all hell. Thank God. Okay. We'll just keep on going, keep bringing different guns to the range and see which ones are going to screw up first and which ones are not. So far the Colt 1911 and the Glock 23 are in the lead. They got the most rounds for them with, uh, with, no, def with no failure. So we got to get the other gun. We got to get the XD back up there. We got to get the M&P back up there because they only got a box of ammo through it. And of course, the Sig Sauer P226 357 barrel in there, that only has 150 through it. So, and the Beretta M9, that's got 225. Maybe the Beretta M9 is for that. How about that? Let's bring that next. The Beretta M9. Damn. So talk. So so hyper. I can't talk. Didn't I say I got a good cooking video? See how I jump around? I got a good cooking video coming up Sunday. Uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, I think it will be. So that'll be fun. Alright guys, see you soon, man. Thanks for watching. All the comments, everything. You guys rock. Thanks.